Hey, what is up, guys? It is the Retro Kid 955. Come back at you, Lala Live. Today, we're going to be doing a review of the Mad Gear Pro XV7 Team Scooter. Got this about two months ago. Haven't really ridden it much, but it is great fun. So, I'll be showing you what it comes with in a dial test, I suppose. <laughs> Come with these Mad Gear Pro signature grips and plugs. Nice big wide bars, that's what I wanted on a scooter because I was rocking like a cheap district scooter. Not even a district scooter, just had a district clamp. But like someone like spray painted it. It looked like trash. <laughs> At the end I'll probably throw up a photo of it or a short video of me like bunny hopping over a curb. So this is the scooter. Uh, gold deck, nice little forks, 110 millimeter wheels. A pretty nice tight clamp. I have to say my friend's one is loose, so just make sure you tighten it how everyone tells you to tighten it. Each bolt evenly, so do that. The grip tape's pretty good. Mine ripped off of it with like big shoes or whatever. But the wheels are good. It comes with a plastic brake, which are great. And then, I don't know, it's pretty great. It's definitely under 10 pounds. And it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't make a sound when riding, which is great. <laughs> So um, I'll just give you a quick little drive test. Actually, I'll do the dial test first. So it's pretty dialed, I, I'd say at least. So I'm gonna flip this thing around and just give it like a quick little ride or whatever. I don't really know. Hopefully that should be good enough. Nothing really crazy for my tricks because I don't want to hit my head on the ceiling. It's pretty low ceiling length in here, so. That's been it for the Magia Pro XB17 scooter review. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more scooter videos, gaming videos, vlogs, or whatever. I don't even know. So, see ya.